Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to the Medieval Kingdom's Total War 1212 AD campaign. We're back on Total War Attila. This is episode 7. We're playing as the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. In today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon the Holy Roman Empire. And we're going to have the Siege of Vienna and ending our series here today. So... If you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new here with notifications on, let me know in the comments feedback for the series, and if you don't, I guess, leave a dislike, let me know what you'd like me to replace this campaign with. I found it quite fitting that the Turks should finish their campaign with the Siege of Vienna, the siege they famously lost in real life. So, we currently have Kai Kaus, the Sultanate, Kai Kaus, the Courageous, the Magnificent. Oh, we need to get uh, my son and heir. His loyalty is just a little bit low there as well. So, here is the family tree. 50 years of age, you've only had one Sultan, Kai Kaus, my third born child and legitimate son, Ibrahim, is my son and heir. For now, technically, it's my brother. I don't want to cause a power vacuum. We've got three full stacks on the border here, ready to push against the Holy Roman Empire. In this series, they've actually done quite well. They've solidified their holdings in Germany and have united most of their bannermen. We're quite a way through our series. Sometimes the Holy Roman Empire shatters and breaks and gets torn up and swallowed up by puppets. But in this time around, uh, the Holy Roman Emperor Henrik has managed to hold on. So, Vienna, which was currently controlled under the Austrians, have actually seized that from them. And there's a small garrison inside, so we're going to have a little bit of a standoff here. So we've got three full stacks. In the last episode, we managed to defeat Serbia and Bulgaria in the Balkans. We're still very much dealing with public order issues there and constant rebellions. We've got three full stacks holding back. So we've got the entirety of Greece and most of the Balkans under our control. Importantly, Istanbul and most of Anatolia. Two units uh, are sitting back here. We currently sit in strength ranked first. The Obers are second. England are currently third. They do really well in this series. They've probably taken France again. Hafsvids are quite strong. Looking at our diplomatic status, we've got a really good um, sort of eastern coalition there. Even most of North Africa under our control as well. So, without further ado, let's declare war on the Holy Roman Empire and uh, end the series there. East versus West. Here we go. So, as we're going to be ending the series here today, it doesn't really matter that we were declaring war on like 10 factions. I'll keep the save. We could come back to it, but I feel like I want to end it here today. So, let's call to war. Crikey. <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, push in now. Oh, we can't attack in one turn. Oh no, that's so awkward. Oh no, I might have screwed myself here. I thought we were in range. Oh no. We're still going to be attacking one turn. But it's probably going to draw this army in and another one in. Oh, we're not in range. I thought we were. Why? Oh, by the smallest of margins there. We've not come in. Alright, let's end the turn and continue. And cross our fingers and hope that our quick movement folly, I thought we were ready to attack this turn. I, uh, I guess we weren't. Maybe our movement got nuked or something. So what's going to happen to these two armies here? There's a full stack in Graz, and they've fled. So it looks like Vienna will be ours after all. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we're still going to have the siege, though, even if that, army's, that army doubled back. I'm surprised they absolutely ran there with their tails between their legs. I guess they fear Kaikaus, the, I don't know, what's something that can roll off the tongue? Kaikaus the courageous, Kaikaus the cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off by sieging Vienna straight up. Let's make sure everyone's moved up here fittingly and let's push for it. Five units of urban militia, five crossbowmen, let's, uh, actually what I'll do is I'll build up some siege equipment. I was going to say, I might fight this on the field of battle, but I might I'll give them a chance to bring back some forces here. 
and rally up. Okay. Um, we've still got a crazy amount of money. We still need to keep an eye on rebellions as well. Okay, I think we're good for now. Oh, God, George is moving into my territory. They've not done very well in this campaign. Okay, well, we shall end the turn and continue. Get that small amount of siege equipment. And then, hopefully, wait for reinforcements to come. I don't mind not fighting a stack within Vienna. But allowing the enemy to unite and push against me might spice things up a bit. Might be a good last stand for them. So I've got to say a huge thank you to the Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD mod team for sending me a copy of the mod and making this Let's Play possible. So a huge thank you to them, of course. So this, this campaign will end here today. Let me know what you'd like me to replace it with. doesn't necessarily have to be Total War. can be another Paradox game. Let me know if you'd like to see a different strategy game. Let's play it on the channel. If we do come back to this mod, there's still a lot more factions. Sicily, England, Holy Roman Empire. Uh, just to name a through. Oh, what's happened here? Judy calls. Ah, Tugrel, my my bastard son's been injured there. Oh, that's a pain. Uh, no matter. The Holy Roman Empire seems to be moving a lot of agents in there. Oh, uh, well, let's push for the city. And the Emperor's inside. What? Oh, wow. That's really spiced things up. He's come for the defense of the city. Or maybe he was holidaying inside. And our intelligence, like, didn't let us know? Wow, he must have been stuck there. So we have Emperor Heinrich. 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 Heinrich, however you want to say it. Five-star commander. We have Kai Kaus. Ten-star. We have 7,300 Turks. Versing at 1.6k. Holy Romans. Let's fight this one on the field of battle here today. Establish ourselves as a threat in Europe. And take our first piece of of Germanic territory. We have the Battle of Vienna, 1235 AD. We have a chance to cut off the head of the Holy Roman Empire and strike a heart and uh, strike at the heart of Christendom. Man, if we can behead the Emperor, take him out, that's massive. Maybe we can take his crown, melt it down, and declare myself officially the Ottoman Empire. Kaikaus, the Emperor of the Ottoman Empire. The Turks, Serbians, Balkans, and men in Anatolia. I think we could claim that. So, they have one unit of cavalry, heavy imperial cavalry. They're going to cause us a little bit of an issue. They have five units of axemen and a lot of crossbowmen. We've got plenty of siege equipment and catapults now. So, we'll set up our formations. We'll allow my archers and uh, jav archers... Uh, Archicav to rain fire and death upon them and try and skirmish the majority of them out before we push for Vienna. We could even push down to Graz and seize the entirety of Austria and have a really nice staging ground to push further into German territories or a bit further south if we wanted to. Okay, it's pissing down in Vienna and God has cleared the skies. Alrighty, so what's the best way to approach this city? <laughs> Vienna has a central coliseum, which they're going to be holding and defending. <laughs> okay, it's interesting that that's there. Alrighty, let's uh, form up our soldiers then. Battering rams can go straight up through the guts. Fortunately enough for me, there's a lot of arrow towers not here, so we can use that to our advantage. There aren't many ways through and in the settlement, so we're going to have to hold them there. I want the majority of the assault to be quite slow, quite methodical, and uh, push up like here, so that's what I sort of want. Okay, archers, gold chevron now, these Ghazi warriors, battle-hardened throughout Anatolia, the Balkans... Fighting Crusaders. Uh, Byzantines alike. So we'll go with an explosive round and just start wreaking havoc. Okay. We'll go on a... Hmm, I was going to say a loose formation, but probably not. So we'll probably allow our horse archers to sit here. 
and we'll allow these guys to go. They're not as heavily armored, these guys, so I'll, I'll change this. So you can go here where there's less arrow fire, and you can go here where there's going to be potentially slightly. All right, let's form up and get ready to go. Let's quickly start and pause, and let's have a look at Kaikaus the Sultan. Kaikaus the Courageous, the Emperor of the Ottoman Empire, and the Gimp of Anatolia. Look at those lips. All right, <laughs> let's get stuck in. All righty, so where are our reinforcements going from? There, that's fine. Okay. Let's allow everyone to come in. Let's move up my cavalry and move you up here, say, as well. Once you're into position, you can fire at will. Fortunately enough for me, their catapults have been pushed on that side. Let's try and hit the Holy Romans. So their urban militia seem to be in the perfect position for us to strike them if we can hit them so make sure you're hitting something like this get a couple to hit that you can hit something like this alrighty so let's have a look at the holy roman defenders and we're already smashing blood up on the backboard alright classic heavy helm can't see the majority of the rest they're moving their crossbowmen into a better position. This is what I don't want. If they can sort of sit back with heavy shot, get a nice shot down and at me, we're going to lose a lot of units, especially sitting side on against them. So this is the sort of stuff we need to be wary of. So if you can pull further this side, that would be more beneficial for me. All right, we've got a shot of the, uh, the Emperor here now with his back towards... The fort, yeah, I guess that's him. Yeah, 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 that's him. The Holy Roman Empire, the banner going in front of him. God, where was? Why has Heinrich been there? That's so weird. Okay, let's get ready to push uh, these units closer up to the battering ram to help out. Move them there. Bar you as well. We'll make a secondary line here. Okay, so basically what we want to do is just try and skirmish out as many of them as possible. So, what I want you to do is just continue to hit as many of them as possible. Open up as much angles and just try and soften them up. So, we haven't lost a single life, but we've killed about a hundred of them. So, if you can hit these guys on the walls here, that's what you'd be doing. You hit these guys further at the back. Maintain pressure on most of these. Uh, maybe try and hit these guys further around this side side and try and focus on this so the more we can push over the top the better make sure you hit your targets lads we want to use all our ammunition before we push up okay my catapults are here now as well so let's flank them uh, down and around and we'll try and get some shots over the top I'm not too fussed about these guys maybe just go into a better position all right and we'll start burning the city yeah, essentially try and hit this so get you guys to halt and fire at will you might be able to get some shots there okay even some of my generals bodyguard they have forces wait for these we shall wait for our swordsman to come in before we push the city okay they're holding there just fine we've only managed to kill about 200 Especially with this unit here, we should be wiping it completely. So you really want to try and focus on that. Yeah, it's just a shame they can't get those shots off there. Alright, so we've killed about 300 before we even pushed in. And now my catapults are raining fire. That's not a bad shot. This one might be a lot better. Yes, that's what we want. Vienna will burn here today. A bit of a surprise attack against the Holy Romans. Okay, let's have a look at the strategic overview. So it's mostly just here. They're not too far spread out. Alright, so just continue to skirmish. Arc your shots up over the wall. 
where you can. We are struggling to target some of them sometimes. But hitting this lop-handed shot here, this is doing very well. And we've managed to rout an entire unit of urban militia there. The enemy has rallied their units slightly. But we're just getting a really good crossfire up with our archers. You don't want to drag them too close to the crossbowmen, so a couple of good volleys can absolutely rip them. These guys are gold chevrons, so they're going to be able to last a lot longer and allow the heaviers to soak up much of the other fire there. Just easy peasy, lemon squeezy. A lot of good target practice, especially with these militia when they've got no shields. Standing there with their fucking pants down. Throwing their axes in the air. Alright, let's continue to speed things up further. They already seem to have some routing. Crossbows are even routing here now. And that can hit here. Allow the catapults to continue to focus on probably this now. Yeah, they've got guys actually coming out of the city there. We'll target these guys. Get your shots off real well. Just side on here. A nice flat shot. Perfect. <laughs> this is like the worst conga line I've ever seen. Conga, 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 conga. Schnitzel, conga. Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Alright, so my guys are getting a little bit hit here because of the arrow tower there. Dude, these catapults have done alright. I've tested in like previous battles of getting my catapult something like this to like target um, like target watchtowers. It's good theoretically if you've got plenty of ammo to try and knock some of these down but due to the debuff in the 1212 AD mod, they're not like Rome 2, they're not like Total War Attila. Like those Grand Onigas you can get are just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I think as well, these Ghazi Warriors, even though they're not the best, I think they're like a mid-tier unit. Yeah, they're light bows. 13th century. It's just because they're golden chevrons. They are arcing their shots brilliantly. And I'm surprised about this. We've managed to kill a thousand before we've even ascended the city. I want to try and kill the Holy Roman Emperor, Emperor in like hand-to-hand -hand combat, that would be ideal. But I am surprised how efficient we are just decimating the Roman populace inside. Or the Germanic populace, rather. Because we are just making them into porcupines, cucumbers. Oh! All right, we can swing these guys further around here now to focus off these last of the crossbowmen. Because what's inside? There's only 530 men. 50 there. Oh, we've got some. They've got some more coming up. Uh, some of our archers are out of ammunition now. Anyway, we've got some of these general units here. They've got some though. You might as well move them up. All right, you can pull further back. Alright, continue to maybe try and hit something like that. Alright, hit that. I'm curious to see if we can just wipe them all out before we even push. That's I'd like to know. Alright, some of these royal ghoulums have a small amount of ammunition pouches available as well. Heavy lances, there's what they really choose for. But they have been born and bred to be competent as mounted horse archers. Alright. Continue to hit this sort of stuff. We've only used 10 minutes of our 50. We haven't initiated any countdowns, but we've probably <laughs> dispatched <laughs> all of the the melee infantry inside. Alright, well there's 120 there, focus on that then. Try and get it to rout. Oh my god, 40 went in a volley from the majority of them. 
<laughs> this is so much fun. This sort of reminds me of the High Elf strat in uh, Total War Warhammer. We're just bombing them with artilleries. We're just raining fire into the bottom. It's like we're using some sort of ethereal bow <laughs> with these golden chevron Ghazi warriors and ghoulums. They are like... I guess they'd really be like sort of Neolithic, I don't know, immortals of old. All right, they're now gone. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Only 12 left. And now they're officially routed. Continue to push for something like this. And even these guys further back. We're being drawn towards Arrow Tower, but we've only lost 100, that's fine. Okay, I think it's time, without further ado, to move up the siege equipment. Now that we've been so, so effective in the final third of the battle, we are going to be able to just carve them up. Alright. Let's continue to just try and eliminate them. But for time's sake, we, the yeah, we theoretically should move up our battering rams. Archers are doing quite well. Arrow fire is actually being dragged away now from my archers. Might make their job slightly easier. <laughs> Not by much. Okay. You're struggling to get up over this cabbage patch. Jesus! Look at this! Look at that! What is this, like, redneck driving? Oh my god. I right, push here. You can sit there. Continue to shoot up and over. We can't even see. Oh, 120, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the rest is probably inside and maybe one other unit that we can't see. Oh my god. My catapults aren't even out of ammunition. Four in there. Okay, so we're pushing everyone up. Where we can. Try and get closer if you can see someone. Yeah, there, there it is. I knew it must be... Somewhere. Alright, try and push and hit that then. If you can. I might even get a shot off myself. We are using explosive round. I think that's the best. Flaming's quite good. But especially if you want to be... If they're clustered, I, I quite like explosive over like flame. Standard shot for walls. I don't really use poison round. I remember in vanilla Total War Attila playing as some of the... I think it's... Were they Slavic tribes? I think there was some crazy... Like, they were, like, absolutely crazy, the Slavic poison ones. They're, like, fucking broken in multiplayer. And in the base game, just spam them out. Okay, we'll be able to finish off them, and I guess, like, we'll send in the general. And all our heavy cavalry, just to absolutely hammer up there. Alright, we're going to be able to take the walls momentarily. And it's going to be quite fitting, as we have exhausted all of our available ammunition. Okay, you can push into here, you can push into there. Make sure we seize and take these capture points. Okay, push up and make sure you take this. There might be a small amount of friendly fire there, but that's alright. It's alright. Don't know. No, 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 no. Pull back, please. There we go. Rocket Man. Suleiman's gonna kill the Emperor. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, that's what the song's rocking in my head. Alright. Uh, good. We've probably taken the gateway now, I'd say. And the battering ram should fall. Uh, come on. Yep, we've captured the gateway. You want to drop this, please? Alright, let's move everyone in. Alright, just go after the general. General! You go for this as well. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> just one little little crazy bombardment. It's probably not a bad idea. Maybe to skirmish some of the Emperor's bodyguard out. Pushing up one by one with infantry is probably what they want. To be fair. Sending spearmen is probably alright. Alright. Allow everyone to come in slowly but surely. I guess like form up. Especially with spearmen. Get all of them and make sure... They don't there. There seems to be a decent amount of civilian populace. Absolutely clueless. Oh god. Some of them that guy's got a club. How did this guy get shafted out of this sword, I wonder? Mother Teresa bombing down the hill with her sisters. <laughs> They're coming. Do they know what's up? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> What a way to go! A spear through the fucking head! What about you as well? No! No! Oh, come on! Man, you didn't have to decapitate a nun! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fuck her! She came at me! Fuck her! I'm Ahmed! <laughs> Let's try and hit them. <clears throat> Soften up the general and pin and hold them in there <clears throat> that voice hurt my throat probably rightfully so because it was fucking awful alright Suleiman gonna soften up the Holy Roman Empire Emperor holding them there as well just target practice Tong. someone caught one in the shield We're actually capping the city somehow, I guess, because we have zone of control. All right, I get. Oh yeah, so he's going to initiate a countdown. It's not going to win it for us, so we'll soften them up where we can, and then we'll send in our spears. The story of Emperor Emperor Heinrich. Yeah, Heinrich. However you want to say it. He's getting littered with arrows. Just keeping and allow him to do so. Oh, he's charging out. That's what he wanted. Ah, uh, you gotta respect the Holy Roman Empire for doing that. Push for it. Take their back and then we've got him. <clears throat> Now push in, because it will count as a flank, I would imagine. Bring him down, bring me his head. Bring him in irons, hopefully, that's what I'd love. Alright, there he is, fighting in the thick of it. And he's been slain! And that's it. That's all she wrote. The Holy Roman Empire has lost their emperor. And the city of Vienna. Decisive victory in this alternative history. Kaikaus, the new emperor of this new Ottoman Empire, deployed 7,363, lost 356. And the Holy Roman Emperor deployed 1.6 and lost his life. We lost three... Yeah, dude, look, this is a really good example. We lost 365 men, right? And as you can clearly see here, we only lost about 100, 150 due to the arrow... Uh, due to the actual men. The rest... The rest, half, if not more, of the casualties came from arrow towers. Like, I just can't stress this enough how just massively... Massively powerful they are. I don't know if it's as far to say they're overpowered arrow towers in these games. Maybe, but when you think about it, when they're sitting there and just absolutely raining fire and death upon you, like, when you attack, you always take massive losses. 
Okay, so who did well? Archers, 210, 194. Whew! That's why they're gold chevrons. Yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Golems did well as well. 121.9. Catapults, 36. Only 36? I felt they did far better than that. Maybe they just got... <laughs> Maybe we only saw the volleys where like routed and fucking shook them. Rather than cleaning up mass casualties. But Vienna is now ours. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. <laughs> the Emperor has been slain. Decisive victory. And let's loot and occupy Vienna for the Turks. Okay, now with Vienna, is it much of an extent to push down and take Graz? I think. Let's do it. Let's take it. Quite fitting. My grandfather was born in Graz. I have a decent amount of Austrian blood in me, so I think it would be quite fitting to take it. <laughs> Eliminate my existence. Alright. Let's take Graz and the entirety of Austria. Okay. Loot and Occupy. Perfect. That's what I want. Alrighty. Does the Holy Roman uh, Empire want peace? Hans! <laughs> Hans! You need to come to the throne room. Heinrich's dead. <laughs> Hans! Fetch the Luger. <laughs> Heinrich's dead. <laughs> That's what I think. Oh, God. There's some great German names. And, uh, yeah. On that note, we'll end the series there. Thanks for watching, guys. I've had an absolute blast. It's been fun. This Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. Let's play. We, God, it was a massive, massive hard task taking Anatolia. There's so many cool and unique factions there. We could have even expanded even further if we wanted to. With Trebizond, also like the threat of the Hunnic Horse Lords and Georgia there. They've managed to come back, which is cool. Uh, we had to deal with the Crusaders and threw them back in the south in Antioch. We had to deal with Byzantines, Latin Empire. We took Istanbul, Constantinople, Greece, Bulgaria, and a decent chunk of the Balkans. We're strength ranked one. I'm going to keep the save file, of course. We can always come back to this if you would like to see more episodes. If there's sort of a crazy amount of support, we could do more episodes. But uh, if not, I kind of feel like I'm done with this campaign. I've hit my main objectives, my short conditions, and uh, reforged the Ottoman, or rather forged the Ottoman Empire. Because there's no way anyone's really going to sort of stand up to us after this. But uh, yeah. Got to say a huge thank you once again to the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 AD mod team for sending me a copy of the mod and making this Let's Play possible. I would like to play more on this amazing mod, so let me know other factions you'd like me to see. I don't hold a vote, I just sort of have a general consensus from you guys. I read the comments, which heavily influences my decision, but I also want to do a faction that I'm interested in, so... It does play a massive part. This was one of... like I, A lot of you guys wanted me to play as Rum, uh, the Selig Sultanate, so... And I want to play as them as well. So that was a huge part of this uh, this Let's Play being a thing. But so we've got the likes of Sicily, Rome, England, France as well. There's still a lot of cool factions to play on this mod. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye.